So as a stylist, I thought, of course, having the hanger as inspiration um, is just a really nice way of reminding me of my goals and what I'm trying to achieve every single day. And also, as if you notice, this young lady, and she's like, uh, I think the name of the actual painting is like Working Woman or something that is working on a little fashion blog here, editorial here. So she's really um, my inspiration every day. I see this every day. It's so beautiful. I love the details. So the general goal was to match, um, match of course, kind of to the whole aesthetic of the the office to her painting, and of course, again, to my business, my brand, and thing. So um, as we finish a couple of things with my business, we're gonna I'm gonna get a banner, actually, probably a small one. It'll either be on the desk or it'll be somewhere like right above her, so you'll see like the actual name of Fashion by Faith Iman, and it'll be really soon, inshallah. Okay, so one of the last things, oh, excuse my camera, it's so old. I love it, but it's old. One of the last things is that I, because I was sewing the other day, I moved my lovely, lovely vase, these two vases, and I moved them over here on this table. And I, I purchased this table the other day. I had to get it. I saw it twice at Hobby Lobby, and it's actually, um, oh, you guys what I'm looking for like my our home is a very international thing very Moroccan we have a lot of Indian influences um, Afrocentric influences so we have this and so I have my little Yulon book for business and so this table is marble you know it's just like actually a marble thing actually the tag is still in here huh so it was only $27 and um yeah the, they have a bunch of them and they kind of fit into each other. Of course, like one's here, one's here. So you can see it's kind of like a half table here. And so one fits like a little bit above it, one fits a little bit above it. And I was like, well, the other ones were about getting up to like 80, you know, dollars, $50. And I was like, no, I already done a lot of shopping. So I wanted to get something that's on budget. And also that can actually fit in our home. Like our home cannot fit that much in. Once I finish putting more furniture, like we don't even have our sofa and so once I put the furniture in here it will not be able to fit um, a bunch of side tables of that of this nature so this is very heavy actually it's just deadly heavy like I don't want it to fall on my kids or anyone's foot so I keep it like this where it's kind of locked into this desk and I'm gonna keep, keep stuff on top of it because I just have a feeling that one day my kids are gonna uh, bump into it and it will hopefully hurt not hurt them but hopefully I won't fall over or anything like that, but I love this desk, so I'm keeping it really close to the actual um, foot of my other desk. So I have a lot of texture in my office space. As you guys can see, I have this almost like snake alligator skin going on here with the ottoman storage, and then I have a lot of texture in as wood and more wood. I have these flowers and these bosses that I've designed a long time ago. The marble, the stone. Um, so I really, when I come out here, I really just have this very peaceful, zen, like, clarity, especially with all the things that I do, that here's my space. I'm going to get something done today. I mean, earlier today I felt horrible when I woke up. I was so exhausted. Uh, I got my kids to school. Ran some errands, came back, and that's what I usually do. Then I cook, I clean, and I, I built. I actually built a, a bookshelf for the kids, and I'm gonna finish their room later. But it's just a lot, you know, in a day, especially for women. Um, so it's good to acknowledge that, you know, we're tired, or we we have our moments where we we need help. We just can't do it all. So in in, in saying that, I I want us to realize that we need to be very clear to the people around us if we have a family or roommates or who, if you're in college that you need your own space and no one's allowed to touch the space that is one of my biggest um my biggest concerns with the way that many women live their lives is that everyone in the home kind of takes from them and there's nothing just for them so my kids know not to touch the space my um my sister's kids are a little bit smaller and they came in, they tried to sit here and do this and that. Nope. They know. And it's not me trying to be rude, it's just that I keep this energy of this space really like cleansing and 
peaceful and I wanted to make sure that um, that it remains that way because in order for me to function and do what I need to do, I need to make sure it's organized. So I'm going to take you guys into the desk real quick. Okay, before we wrap up this video, the desk is a little bit messy, but that's the desk. Um, it's mostly messy because I got the sewing stuff and just kind of threw stuff in here. So I have a couple of files here. It doesn't fit a whole lot, but I got, I mostly put the, the to do's and huh, to don't, I have to don'ts. Like don't forget to do this, don't forget to do that. I have clipboard, tape, uh, note cards here in the back and then these nice envelopes, just simple envelopes and some different tapes. A picture for my baby because my kids are always giving me pictures so they get offended of course if I don't put something here of theirs. So I have a picture in here. Uh, a bunch of more sticky notes. Lots of these. So I got these trays years ago from like the dollar store or maybe it was Walmart's kitchen section but these are basically kitchen trays and I spray painted these gold as I did with the vases and um, they are just like a staple in my home. Um, so I have these in there and I have like this calculators because of course I study and I work here so it's yeah it's needed <laughs> and so that's pretty much it we put some sewing stuff in here a little bit but again once I get out of here um, out of this area just practicing my sewing I'm gonna try to get another table because there's no way I could actually sew um, you know bigger things on this table I mean I'll be like pushing my limit especially in this, the fact that it's in this area of my walkway. It was very messy the other day attempting to sew. Um, and I don't want the front of the foyer not all messy and such. So, basically, thank you for watching, you guys. I love y'all so much. I know it's been a minute since I made a video. I was moving, it is settled. I work, I teach, I have a business, I study. I'm a Jackie of all traits. Happy Wednesday. Assalamu alaikum.